www.thrivingmom.com. I've been looking forward to this segment because you get to go shopping in your own home, really. Be My Guest with Denise is a great blog and YouTube channel and Instagram. And Denise Cooper is with us right now. And we're going to talk today about actually reusing things that are already in your home. Stuff like that new feel. Yes. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. So today we are in my family room. This is where we kind of hang out. This is one of three sitting areas in our home, but this is our favorite space in the home. And I want to share with you how you can reuse the items that you have in your home. You know, everything in your home has a second life and people have enough things in their homes to decorate. You're just not using them right, like I said. So the first thing you should do is shop your home and you want those anchor pieces like your sofa and chairs, coffee tables, benches. This bench is actually out of my guest bedroom and I kind of brought it here because when we have company we never have enough seating in this area so this is perfect so you want to try to get furniture to have that has a double duty use and this is a perfect example for that double duty use of furniture that you could you know get a lot of bang for your buck um these two chairs over here is from my living room and I put them here because I thought it was a good idea to place them in front of the tv this longer sofa over here used to be where these chairs were, and I just thought that this made more sense because it's facing the TV. My husband and I like to sit there and watch the news. <laughs> over here, um, this sofa table that I had the two lamps on was on this wall behind those two chairs. And, you know, just to mix things up a bit, I put them over here behind the sofa. I get a lot of questions about the lamps that are on the table and they are from Goodwill of all places. And they didn't always look that way. They were dirty and they were just grungy looking, but I saw the potential in them and I brought them home, cleaned them, painted them and gave them a whole new look and bought new shades for them. And believe it or not, these lamps are crystal and I paid $14 for the pair. So that was a real good thing. Pillows is something else that you want to just you know, swipe out seasonally. This is um, one of my favorite colors, one of my one of two favorite colors that I love. And I had uh, these pillows on my bed and I just brought them out here and just swap things out a little bit. And of course your area rugs, you know, um, area rugs cost so much money. Don't, don't spend money at first, you know, try it in a different room to give it a new look first. But if you have to, you know, Ross or Home Goods is a good place to buy area rugs as well. I love the idea of swapping the area rugs around. Now, mm -hmm. I know you also suggest that we pay close attention in other rooms. Mm -hmm. to make sure that we're not just, I guess, leaving an item in a room and letting it live there its entire life. Right, right. Let's see what else you have. So oh, I did um, a little video on YouTube on how you can repurpose items in your bathroom. So I'm going to flip the camera around. So I have a table set up here where... I used Royal Blues in our guest bathroom. Everything on here did not cost me a thing except for the hand soap and lotion. But starting with this frame, I have one of three of these frames. It's glam, it's mirrored, I love it. But frames and artwork can cost a lot of money. So what I've been doing for years to save on money is I'll go on Google and I'll print uh, a print that I like to match the room and I'll uh, print it on photo paper and I'll put it inside this uh, frame. And I do that with every, every color that I use in my home. It saves you a ton of money, a ton of money. Over here, I have uh, napkins and I have them sitting on top of a acrylic lid that came off one of my organizational jars. And these napkins are actually from the dollar store, believe it or not, a dollar. And they're beautiful with the pineapple on it, which, you know, resembles a welcome into your home. And I love that look. Over here, people have white dishes in, in their home. I hope that people have at least one white dish. This is a small white dish that I have here, and I place hand soaps and lotion on top of it. And on top of this, I have a condiment tray that I'm sitting on top of the tray in case my guests want to wash their hands. They can put their rings on that little condiment tray while they wash their hands. And this is a planter that I've had for many, many years. And inside, I just have rolled up towels inside for my guests. So you have a lot of videos like this on your blog, a lot of helpful tips, and, and they're just fun to watch. So it's mm -hmm. Be My Guest with Denise. Is that the same for everything, YouTube, blog, and Instagram? Yes. 
Mm -hmm. On all my social networks, it's Be My Guest with Denise. It's just easier that way. <laughs> well, we can't wait to see you in person. As oh, me too. In the studio. We have to have yeah. you come back in. But thanks oh. for coming into your home. You're welcome. You're welcome. It's so good to see you, Eden, and I miss you. Oh, I miss you too. <laughs> Soon, here's air hug. Air hug. Air hug. <laughs> For young people, education can be a guiding light through